Okay, after rendering this one, you probably uh, okay many things will can be done easily by simply if you make this one best, no matter how loud the setting you have, your rendering look good. <laughs> Bad thing, it'll take really long. So all you have to do, so kind of my suggestion, if you're busy with your modeling, just finish your modeling in Rabbit, and then just render this one, and then just finish other, you know, uh, plan, plan, de plan designing or your physical model making. And then if you're, uh, okay, and then I'll just use default one. And then if you want to uh, render really high quality, high, uh, large size, high quality, pay, uh, large size, high quality printing, simply change this setting to printer. Currently, this one is set as uh, about 2 meter and 2 meter and 150 dpi. If you increase to 600 dpi, and actually you see that uncompressed image size 13 gigabyte, I'm, I'm expecting that this will take a couple of days. <laughs> but it will have very nice rendering setting. And actually, I think the 300 dpi also looks good. So actually, and then actually the image size will be 3 gigabytes, which also take on one, or one day or two, yes? Yes, okay, so I'll explain that one too. But, and then also for lighting is also critical. So I just use screen today because to demonstrate uh, all different settings quickly. In lighting, for exterior, please use sun only. For interior, based on my experience, interior sun and artificial lighting always has the best result. And here, um, so of course you can change sky condition. I would do, it doesn't really change that much. So I would not I would not bother by it. One other important one is actually this one, image. Adjust exposure. So in Rabbit, in Rhino rendering and other 3DS, man, 3DX, man, 3DS Max rendering, you preset brightness camera setting before you render. In Rabbit, it comes after. So what you have to do is after you render roughly and actually change your brightness here, exposure value, which is like similar thing with focal uh, F number in camera. And then what you have to do, change the number and then you need to click apply. Then you see that this one's a little bit brighter and brighter and probably highlights a little bit darker probably to remove the highlight. And then I would leave it dark. So you have to actually play with this one to increase the mid-tone I would make bit tone a little bit brighter, not much, so I just reduce that a little bit dark. And the shadow, it's up, it's up to you, lighter or darker, white point and saturation. Actually, probably I would really bit reduce the saturation a little bit because I don't kind of. Okay, so this kind of. So again, remember that parameter setting comes after you render it, not before. Yeah, just uh, sky, uh, interior, uh, sun, and artificial. Yes. Okay, then probably you want to save this view somewhere in your rabbit. And then actually, you probably ch every time you change your parameter, you, want to, you may want to save it. So actually, like next time, or you may want to pick the best one. So the lighting, sun, and artificial is the exterior? Just sun only, exterior. I will explain once we will switch to interior rendering. And then here, save to project. If you click this one, will this you give you ask your name? Okay, so that's the that, that this one is exterior, exterior test zero one. And if you click OK, you see that here under rendering setting, it will be saved here. And let's say that uh, if you if I change this one to oh I will just stop with this one. If you change another view, for example, I go back to 3D view, and then, oh, what did I do? Okay, so I probably change a little bit about a pan or angle, and then I'll probably render again. And then if you probably so you may want to save your rendering whenever you change view angles or some settings. Could you repeat how to save the rendering? Huh? Could you repeat how to save the 
Yeah, so I will do it again. So go to under image, yeah. save to project. And if you click it, it will ask you the name. I will say this one is exterior test 02 and then save it. So this one is actually, so all the parameters will be saved here. So if you go to this one is exterior 2, this one is exterior 1. And let's see some other examples that uh, Rabbit uh, Autodesk did. So this one is approach and from yard, kitchen, living room. So this one, you can actually think that this one is the best rendering you can get from Rabbit. And unfortunately, yeah. yeah, do you like it? I like the other one better. <laughs> yeah, so this one, if you do it with the best setting, you do have something like this. Just, uh, just it will take very, very long. Okay, um, but unfortunately, the what the rabbit does not show you is, as you see that here, you cannot go back to render button, meaning that you can save it, but actually you cannot really uh, get the you can extract the parameter setting from the image that's the bad thing about rabbit you got that so actually i recommend you write down somewhere okay so again and then if you want to actually you have a kind of you test a lot and okay so i'll cut it here so this one is um 